Welcome back, once again, I'm in London for rehearsals for Bed 13. Emma and I are just about to head over to Putney, so let's get this show on the road. So, have you got used to driving in London over the years? Yeah. Because like, being at a standstill, I feel like I'm parked here. I also feel like we're, I'm making too much eye contact with the people around me. <laughs> oh, that's why when I'm like, when I'm singing in the, in the car, I like stop it when I'm doing, when I'm next to people. And then when I'm on like a motorway or something, I'm like, oh, now I can really belt the tunes out. Well, this is it. I feel like most of my singing practice happens when I'm actually in the car on the way to somewhere. Oh yeah, me too. Um, it's absolute carnage. Look, nobody knows what they're what are you doing? You want to be in this behind that man. Want to be behind the Toyota? Yeah. Right, as in, in this There one. you go, then. that's it. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I use that, I use the driving town to practice my singing it's just like I couldn't yeah. do that here could I because I'd always have well, like someone could, looking at me but start singing at some, them. sometimes I think when people if people look at me while I'm singing I, I think oh do they know if I'm good just from looking at me <laughs> singing yeah I often think if you don't know the route that you're driving in London which actually often I don't it's really you don't know what I don't know what lane to be in I'm just guessing I mean this guy doesn't know what lane he's in at the moment really. <laughs> he doesn't know just between which the two which lane are you in honey either pick a lane which one which one do you want to be in? It feels so partridge to complain about people driving. <laughs> What's happening there? Is it some kind of fair? No, it's always there. I don't know what it is. Really? Literally all the time. I don't understand why it's there. There's literally not a single person on that Ferris wheel. There actually isn't. Not even that Ferris Bueller. It's a bit like... <laughs> I don't know what its function is. Well, it's I mean, to it's entertain. <laughs> what is the function of this place? What is that? the function of a fun... Fair. I believe it's a fair where people have fun. <laughs> no, no, no. Too obvious. I hear the drums are going tonight. Oh, fun fact about this. Mm. Who is the lead singer in Toto? Toto? Yes. Who is, no, the dog from <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Tapsy. I love how I just immediately went, no. <laughs> no, that is incorrect. You were like, yeah, the band Toto. Oh, no. Right, I see what you're doing. Yeah. No. Oh, I thought it was Toto. This will blow your mind, actually. Who is it? It's the son of John Williams. <laughs> is it? <laughs> how mad is that? Is this Chiswick Roundabout? I don't know. Might be, yes, yeah. it is. We are on Chiswick Roundabout now. Alan Partridge fans will know. This is where Roger Moore gets stuck. In no me, no in you. You told me this. <laughs> yeah, but the last time we were on this roundabout, we're you told on me this roundabout company. now. That's so good. Actually, it... I made a mistake last time we were on the roundabout. We had to go around again, and you were excited. Yeah, yeah, because I got to see Chiswick roundabout again. He's on Chiswick roundabout now. We have just arrived at the theatre. Rehearsals will commence shortly because we took a long time to get here. But we have arrived, and we have arrived safely. So, hello, Putney Arts Theatre again. There you are. And now I've landed back at home after my adventures. It's been an incredible weekend. Honestly, it was so good to see the rehearsal of Bed 13. Marcia and the cast are working so hard and I really can't wait to see the finished thing. But I'll be honest, it's really, really good now, even with two weeks to go, which is rare for a show. But I really enjoyed watching it. It's so good to see something that I've written the music for come to life. It's really strange to see people singing melodies that you've written in your bedroom. When it's brought to life, it's a very surreal experience, but it's one that I really love. And the cast are so lovely as well. And they're all really enthusiastic about the show. And I just can't wait to be back down in London to actually see it. And it's not actually that long away now. So if you haven't got your tickets already, do make sure you get your tickets. There will be a link in the description. Now that I'm back home, it's back to some normal work, I guess. Just sort of fitting back into the normal routine. When I was watching Bed 13 the other day, I realised that I actually haven't talked about writing in a long time. Let me tell you why that is. So first of all, I've actually been working on a lot of stuff in the background, and I can't tell you what that stuff is yet, but it will all make sense in a couple of weeks. I know that's such a classic me thing to say, but there is always something in the pipeline. I'm really excited for you to hear about it. 
But the second thing is, I am always writing. With a song in seven days, I'd always make a point of telling a story from start to finish when it came to writing a song. But outside of that framework, I'm always writing songs. In fact, last year, I was even writing songs in between the songs in seven days. Is that the right way to say that? Yeah, well, the songs in seven days. But you should know that I am working on new material. It is coming. <laughs> When things have cleared up, there'll be a little bit more room for writing. There'll be a bit more time to talk about it as well. But in the meantime, don't worry. It's definitely happening. And also, I've had a haircut, which is why I probably should have opened with that, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's why I look different. Yeah. Normally, I take the camera with me to the hairdressers, but in this case, I didn't. So yes, haircut. Good morning. I am at ABC Audio Works. I'm meeting up with Alex to do some recording, some musical things. I'm really excited because I've not actually seen him in a while. In fact, have we recorded anything this year? Maybe not, not sure. But either way, I'm excited to see him. Also, I've never done this shot before, I quite like it. The car boot shot. I expect to be seeing it a lot more. This is an ABC uh, Audio Works first. We cracked open the hot tub. <laughs> I can't believe this is the same place that we've recorded in for years. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean specifically this hot tub. <laughs> it's amazing you filled the studio with so much water. <laughs> Can you imagine if you'd just turned up one day and it was inside? <laughs> <laughs> just drunk it, it set up in the middle of it. <laughs> Having said that, like, what? What could you actually record in a hot tub? You could probably do vocals, couldn't you? Yeah. Like, realistically. I've, I've often thought about just recording the sound of the jets, like, wearing away or not. Play a bit of guitar. Not very safe. That's a challenge, you have to record an entire album in a hot tub. We've got the facilities, mate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, literally, literally have the facilities. This is not how I thought my morning would go. Watching ABC throw water out of a hot tub. This might be an abated temp. <laughs> is it getting warmer or am I just kidding myself? I don't know, it's hard to say. I, I mean, I'm not uncomfortable, I'm not cold. It is a relaxing experience. I love how you describe this as like going for a swim though. Let's start doing lengths. Have you ever been on a holiday where the sea's been warm? Probably two in my life. Right. Two holidays in my life where it's actually been. Where were you? Um, Barbados was really warm. Yeah. Uh, and Mexico sea's always pretty, pretty warm. So like actually really hot countries. Actually, yeah, like warm enough for you to, you know when you're getting like at the dairy, like oh this is all right, it's not freezing. Like, yeah. That kind of warm. Yeah. As opposed to like normally like, I remember I went into the sea in Scarborough in a wetsuit for about 11 seconds <laughs> and I thought, like, no thanks. I've never regretted anything as much as that day that I went in, you know, when we filmed the video. Oh <laughs> man, I was you actually did do that. Yeah, I was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Oh, that's ridiculous. But and that was quite a warm day to me. Yeah, it was. It was a, that was a really hot day. That was actually a really nice way to round off the week. ABC and I haven't actually caught up in a long time. And obviously we didn't just sit in the hot tub, we did actually do some music stuff as well. But it was great to just sit there and watch the wheel go by for a little while. I definitely feel like I needed that today. It feels like it's been a full on couple of weeks. Dumplin' is also making the most of the sun. He's over there just having a bit of a sunbathe. And yeah, what a great way to round off the week. And that, believe it or not, is where I'm going to leave the vlog for this week. So as always, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next week.